Say to Archippus. Say to Demas. He said, Demas has forsaken me. Having loved this present world, Demas is in love with the things of the world. Demas is in love with worldly things. Demas wants affluence. Demas wants money. Demas wants to drive the best cars. And because of the pursuit for those things, he has abandoned his place in the kingdom. Demas. He used to be a house pastor. He used to be a district pastor. He used to be a leader and a worker. But he's still in charge. New people don't know that he has ever been a worker. In fact, if care is not taken, new people will soon approach him to disciple him. They will soon walk to him and say, Come. Have you been discipled? Let me disciple you. I'm not joking. Watch. You'll see what I'm telling you. You think we're playing. <laughs> you think we're playing in this church. Watch. Watch. And if he gives them the opportunity, they will disciple him well. No jokes. They will disciple him well. Faithfulness is not I used to. Faithfulness is what I'm doing now. Faithfulness is not I used to. Faithfulness is what I am doing now. He used to be a campus coordinator. But now he's just a member. And he's not even committed to the campus. Akipus is that guy who used to pastor and stop pastoring. He now says, I just teach generally. I teach generally. Which house center are you? I visit all of them. Akipus. Akipus. Akipus is that guy that was passionate in evangelism, but has slided. Akipus is that guy who was ardent in giving. Ardent. Passionate about giving. He loved the things of God. He gave everything he had. But something has happened. Something has happened. An able minister is who you are by the spirit. But you have to work it out. We have loyal ministers. We have faithful ministers. You know, we are too worried about Demas losing salvation. When we read that scripture, Demas has forsaken. Look at the second Timothy verse, chapter 4, verse 10. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse number 10. <clears throat> For Demas had forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica, Christians to Galatia, Titus unto Demelchia. Demas has gone, having loved. He's in love. So when we read that scripture, you hear people say, say Did Demas lose salvation? Leave it. We are not talking of salvation. Okay, he didn't lose salvation, but he has lost ministry. Is that also not serious? The man didn't lose salvation, but he has lost his place in the scheme of divine affairs. He has lost his spot. He has lost the place where God's plan for his life before the world began. The plan that God carved out for him, he has left it. He's not fulfilling it. And you're asking me whether he has lost salvation. He has lost ministry. He has lost ministry. And Bible says, when a man's works are burnt, he shall suffer loss. When the Bible say a man shall suffer loss, when the Bible use the word loss, you shall suffer loss in eternity. You won't understand now till we get there. So you shall suffer loss. Having loved this present world, he has seen the things of this world of more priority than the kingdom of God. He has placed a premium on, on, on worldly things that ends here. Beyond the eternal plan, the predestined counsel of God for his life before the world began. Demas. Which means he was an associate. Demas was an associate. Look at it. Colossians 4.15. Demas was not just an ordinary brother. He was a solid brother. Associate of brother Paul. Colossians 4.15. Salute the brethren 
which are in Laodicea and Nymphas and the churches in his house. Next verse. And when this epistle is read among you, cause that it be read in the church of the Laodiceans, and that you likewise read the epistle from Laodicea, which means Demas was an associate of brother Paul. He labored with Paul a lot of times. Then what happened to him? He left. Demas became unavailable. Demas became a brother with too many excuses. Very authentic, very profound excuses. Intelligently crafted. Excuses that even Jesus will be convinced to let him go. Demas, Akipus. He loved this present world. First John 2.15 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Love not. That's the only text in the New Testament where we are told to not. Love not. Everyone eventually follows what they love. If you are in love with the world, you will follow it. If you are in love with this world, it's a matter of time. Where your love is, you will eventually follow. You will gravitate in the direction of your love. They must love the world. So what did he do eventually? He followed it. 